What's up, YTPC? Fluoride Viper coming at you. A couple things I wanted to talk about today. Um, mainly, I was uh, called out by Mike Philly Piper as he was doing his VR2 flat cap Piper and Lady Fires 1000 subscriber giveaway. And uh, I needed to follow through and help him out and do a VR. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Um, first, I want to talk a little bit about this pipe. And uh, um, just a kind of little ramble too. So buckle up. It might be a little bit of a longer video. Smoking today my Peterson Silver Cap. Sandblast. The shape number on this is an XL05 or an X105, excuse me. Bingo. Yeah, X105. For a Peterson lover, I don't really know my shape numbers. <laughs> Beautiful silver cap, obviously, silver uh, military mount. Beautiful, kind of tight, but beautiful, beautiful pipe. I love the military mounts. I really love that they do a silver P on this one to like really just set it all off. And uh, in there, I am smoking some Esoterica Peace Haven. Going super fancy today. And um, <clears throat> no, no reason why. I just kind of wanted to indulge a little bit. I'm making a mess down here. I've got about maybe eight ounces of Peace Haven right now, and I'm really, really just trying to stretch that out as long as possible. Because who knows if I'll ever get any again. So very, very good. Very, very good. The tin note on it is, to me, it, it smells like fruity pebbles cereal. <laughs> Just like sweet, sweet, sweet fruity. Um, but when you smoke it, you get that little bit of fruitiness. Um, but it really, really hits like kind of the epitome of that bread note for me in Virginia's. And um, it's almost tangible, like that bready feel in your mouth and the flavor of just like fresh baked goods. But you get that that bit of fruit too. Super, super good. Sorry, I know. I know, it's, it's like impossible to find. But the reason why I wanted to mention this pipe is um, I actually found this um, as an estate. And I mean, it's beautiful. It's uh, really well uh, refurbished and cleaned and I got this at the Danish pipe shop which uh, if you are new to this hobby and you don't know about the Danish pipe shop uh, you really need to go check it out and don't be concerned that um, when you start looking at prices they're not in you know American dollars uh, I believe they were in euros when I was looking but they do ship to the US uh, so, uh, definitely something to take a look at and they have really beautiful estates. Uh, so worth a check and, you know, just to kind of go on a tangent there as far as estates go, because a lot of my Peterson pipes in my collection came to me as, um, restored estates. Um, I check out smoking pipes every week, twice a week when they update their stock on Mondays and Thursdays. And also I check on smokingpipes.eu, which is the European version. And they also have phenomenal um, pricing on their estates. Uh, so definitely worth a look. Um, the nice thing about the EU website is that obviously they're getting pipes from uh, mostly European um, sellers. And more often than not, they do have nine millimeter pipes because it's more popular in Europe. So uh, worth a check if you guys are looking for that one pipe, uh, whether it be like a Savinelli or Peterson or one of those, 
Um, those are great places to look, and other pipes too, obviously, but as far as those go, they're way more common uh, to see in the estate section. So, um, you know, just a couple tips for you if you're searching for those pipes. But I have to do that VR, um, and there's some questions to cover, so let's get started. So, uh, first off, congratulations to Flat Cat Piper. Um, really, just like a really cool milestone, obviously a thousand. Um, I'm creeping up there, um, working on that too. And I know, you know, we're all doing gauze at the same time, but it's really fun. And you get to know people way better when they do VRs and it gives people some content, um, that they don't have to necessarily think about, you know, that they get, uh, some videos to make that somebody else, you know, gave them the topic for. So to me, I love doing that. I love doing VRs. I am uh, going to say first and foremost that uh, my VR, um, as it is an entry into the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, um, I will say if, if my name gets drawn, then I would like you to give the prize um, to Philly Piper, please. Um, and he's only got 100 and some odd subs, guys, so you really need to get over and sub Mike's channel. He's got a great channel. Uh, a wonderful taste in pipes and tobacco. Uh, he seems very seasoned and knowledgeable about what he's doing, and uh, I've been really enjoying his content. So definitely get over there and check out his channel. All right, I wrote down the uh, the uh, questions for the VR. So here we go. We're already almost seven minutes in. <laughs> Where did my channel name come from? I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, I wear glasses so i am the four-eyed piper it's i don't need to go too far into that but it's always been my look to wear ray-bans so it's uh it's my channel name uh, where am i from i'm from western new york i've lived here the majority of my life um basically in the same area and this is where i met my wife uh, we went to school together uh, both of us lived elsewhere so after uh, college i moved out to la and she moved to daytona beach florida uh, and then we both moved back to this area and re-met each other and got married. And we've lived here ever since. So we bought a house and have kids and X, Y, Z. How long have I been smoking a pipe? Just about f uh, three and a half, four years. I've been making content for just about three years. Um, so uh, started... And I, I think I'm going to do a video about my first pipe and all that stuff. I, I just want to show, show you guys kind of where I started. But started without any knowledge whatsoever and got horrible tongue bite like most people do. And then turned to YouTube for tips. YouTube University, as I like to call it. And uh, learned a lot and started with Mutton Shop and all that stuff. And uh, kind of a similar story to most people. Let's see. What am I looking forward to most in my pipe smoking hobby for me right now it's meeting up with some fellow pipers whether that be at uh, another boswell's meetup like we did a couple years back or just getting together you know at a bar or off the cuff somewhere or going to a pipe show I, i'd really like to go to a pipe show i've never been um really would love to get out to the west coast pipe show in la or las vegas but um i don't i just don't see that happening in the next year or two we'll see it's expensive and it would be expensive once i got there too obviously i'd need some <laughs> some spending cash for that um you know chicago's not a go this year i'd love to go uh to either one of those those would be kind of the the big big hitters on my list, either the Chicago Pipe Show or the Las Vegas uh, West Coast Pipe Show. And then what other videos do I watch when I'm not watching pipe smoking content, YTPC videos? And uh, primarily uh, two different things. Uh, cooking videos, I am an avid cook, and I really need to incorporate more of that into my channel because I've been just cooking nonstop and learning a ton. Uh, so I watch a lot of that. Recently, um, I purchased a wok, and I've been doing a lot of cooking in my wok, learning how to season the wok and, you know, different recipes and cooking techniques there. I'm always looking for new ways to um, bring some variety into our diet. 
and the the other one kind of goes hand in hand over that and that's like fishing and hunting um, videos um, I'm very passionate about harvesting and cooking a wild game so you'll see me uh, probably pretty soon putting up some videos about trout fishing because uh, that season is upon us and then in the fall uh, you guys some of you will know that uh, I'm a big deer hunter so um, that's what I I tend to watch when I'm not watching YTPC videos but there's so many YTPC videos out there that I hardly get a chance to uh, break away from them and watch anything else so so that's it so uh, I hope that'll give some extra entries for Philly Piper and uh, you know throw my entries in there and if I win then definitely uh, send my winnings on to Philly Piper um, and guys get over to Mike's channel uh, he's doing a, an awesome job and if you haven't subscribed Flat Cat Piper or Lady Fire Piper's channels Get over there and subscribe to them too. Um, until next time, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you later.